What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and I am looking forward to getting to testing the Ryzen 9 7950X hash rates over on twitch.tv slash blindrun, basically tonight. But before we can get into that, there is more you need to be aware of, and that involves, of course, Ergo, EIP37, which, of course, addresses the difficulty adjustment issues that Ergo is having, and how you can vote and basically all the newest information surrounding it. Let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is BT Miners. Purchasing mining equipment online can be dangerous. With all of the fake storefronts and scams, it can be hard to find a reliable source. That's why when BT Miners reached out for a channel sponsorship, I started by verifying that ordering and delivery went smoothly with the purchase of my own. If you are looking to purchase ASICs hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and CryptoMiner.com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and tell them Soat sent you to support the channel. Welcome back. So if you guys aren't aware, essentially Ergo, the cryptocurrency, has been having difficulty adjustment problems due to the massive influx of hash rate that happened directly after the merge on Ethereum. Unfortunately, it caused so many issues that the hash rate on Ergo has dropped basically to 50% of what it was before the merge, meaning expectations to handle some of the hash rate off of the Ergo or off of the Ethereum merge ended up basically uh, not working out at all. And this was due to the way that Ergo handles the difficulty adjustment. So Ergo has now proposed essentially an EIP, which is an Ergo improvement proposal, not to be confused with Ethereum improvement proposal. And this EIP in particular will adjust the difficulty by basically reducing it by 87% about, give or take, from 1,024 blocks per epoch to 128 blocks per epoch with the average time over, of course, eight epochs. So essentially what this will do will shorten the amount of time it takes to basically adjust the difficulty on Ergo and then in turn, of course, shorten the amount of time it reads for the adjustment. So previously what would happen is you would have the adjustment averaged out over the previous two weeks or over the previous, sorry, we shouldn't use days because basically that's not going to work here over the past eight epochs at 1,024 blocks to now averaging it across the eight epochs at 128 blocks. And you can get into that and read all of that specifically on this particular page that I'll have linked down below. And this is the EIP. The problem is, of course, it requires a hard fork. So a hard fork obviously is going to require consensus on the network. And that is currently the stage that we were we are in right now so another thing that was going on was kind of ergo had requested some people to hop on the network to speed up of course the the change to the next epoch in its current form but unfortunately that didn't really work out because while we did hit the next epoch you know it didn't adjust the difficulty down as far as you know you need it to be essentially because it only adjusted it down to 16.61 which really is the equivalent of about 160 terahash on the network when in fact right now we have about 25 terahash on the network. So the difficulty needs to go down to like 2.5p. And in addition to that, even the next one, which isn't even going to happen until the 3rd of October, only goes down to 10.68p, which would be the equivalent of like 100 terahash. So obviously, I think to speed this process up, EIP 37 seems to be the way to go, but you know, that's just my humble opinion. And that is also just short term. Does that solve it overall? I don't know because there are questions that have been brought up that are very valid. Rabid mining here on YouTube has brought up the fact that all we're really doing is shortening the period, which means that we shorten the period of which you could gamify the system. Because at the end of the day, the worry from a lot of the miners was the gamification of the hash rate, meaning that because the difficulty is delayed to adjust, that miners can come in and mine at a very low difficulty with an exorbitant amount of hash rate, push the difficulty up to where it's impossible for the miners that are loyal to the network to gain anything and then jump off the network and basically leave those loyal miners in a position where they're mining 
very little and the block times have slowed down significantly. And while yes, you are shortening that difficulty adjustment time uh, basically by 87%, which is quite a bit, it still does have that potential there. At least that was the argument from Rabbit Mining. I think 87% is quite a lot, meaning that essentially, I think that it will adjust fast enough now to where it will be very difficult to time this for the large miners and really not worth it, but it has to be implemented before we can tell. The thing is, right, from my perspective right now, it's clearly not working in the manner that it's functioning in right now. Like 1,024 blocks over eight epochs is way too long. If we left it like this, it's going to be forever before it gets back down to the 2.5p. And then if the basically the gamification of hash rate comes in and spikes it right back, way back up again, even if it's only by like, I don't know, 70 terahash or 100 terahash, it's still detrimental to the network. So yeah, I think that making the change is better than not making the change. And it seems to be that for the most part, this is being agreed upon because we can start to see the way that people are voting. So as we take a look at it now on Ergo's Twitter, we have EIP 37 hard fork and its availability. You can vote. Yes, even if you're solo mining or just running a node, make sure you go update to the version that you want. Now, you could stay on the old node and basically by default, your, your vote's gonna be set to no. Or you can upgrade to 4.0.100 and you can manually set the vote. And that would basically allow you to set to yes or no. At least this is my understanding at this point. And then if you would like to automatically vote in favor, you can download 4.0.101. Of course, all you gotta do here is download the jar file, throw it into your files, and then basically re-execute the Java start with the proper version that you wish to vote for with and then bing, bang, boom, you're ready to go. So I've done this update guide on sonofatech.locals.com. I can link that down below. Just let me know if you guys need it. It's very simple to update your node. But the real thing here is going to be the fact that you need to take into account basically um, hash rate, amount of hash rate, amount of blocks found, and, and who has updated, right? So luckily, here it is. Voting is performed by the miners, mining pools, and solo miners. Please update your nodes to reflect the way you're voting. If pool mining, direct your hash to a pool that reflects the way you wish to vote. So there is a list here that we're going to show you guys, and it will need a super majority, which is greater than 90% of the hash rate is required for a successful vote. Now, I got some clarification on this uh, from Armenio on Twitter, and I asked, you know, is it really pure hash rate? Because Obviously, there's some luck involved there, and fair enough, yes, hash rate's still going to be the primary determining factor, but it's not like it's taking the full hash rate. It's basically taking the amount of blocks solved on a node that is voting in favor, okay? So, to basically help understand that is that, of course, like we've talked about before, there is luck involved, so... You know, if you're a solo miner or if the pool never finds a block, like get blocks found very few blocks, maybe their vote's not really going to matter that much as, you know, a larger pool like two miners that is solving more blocks. But if you are just mining and you're not like mining to your own node and you're not going to upgrade your node and mine to it, then you just need to know how the pools are voting. And luckily, they have created a Google Doc here tracking this so far that we can take a look at. It's EIP 37 and basically support yes or no uh, is listed here. Two miners currently in favor. Nanopool currently in favor. Ergominers.com currently in favor. We have K1 pool in favor, rkdn.app in favor, and then just a, a random uh, public IP address pool that's in favor. These are going to have to go through. Currently, we don't have one that is like basically set to no. All we have so far appears to be yeses. That being said, it's not a 90% super majority at this point, right? There is almost, you know, between these two quite a bit, right? So you have essentially between two miners and nano pool, you have 12 terahash, which is, you know, 50%, but you got to have 90%. So you have to have essentially a super majority, which uh, 
I think we can add two minor solo in here uh, fairly enough too at this point because you know essentially it's going to the same setup and so we could say essentially that there's 14 terahash we still need more right uh, another big one that would you know if they hopped on would pretty much be uh, for sure would be if like hero miners popped in or something along those lines but if you're voting in favor right now, make sure you hop to two miners and nano pool. Of course, this can cause an issue. And we, we'd be amiss if we didn't bring this up. Uh, still probably safe to say you should spread your hash rate across the pools, meaning like just because two miners is in favor and you're in favor, everybody throwing 90% of the hash rate on two miners could cause, you know, potential security issues. So, you know, if you're voting in favor of yes, spread it across, you know, the pools that are voting yes, maybe throw some on nanopool or ergominers.com, et cetera. But right now it looks like it has a very, very high chance of passing. So I think that we will see EIP 37 go into play. We do have, of course, some people that have concerns surrounding security and governance with EIP 37. Um, you can go read all of the forum posts, et cetera, for arguments for and against before you make your decision. Currently, I don't see a pool that is actually voting against or at least has made the full outright decision to uh, vote against. So if there is a pool that does decide to vote against, I'll let you guys know, of course, in the comment section below. But you can go check on the EIP 37 support uh, Google Sheets and stay up to date that way. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below. And yes, hash rates for the 7950X is coming to a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel near you. So make sure that you're subscribed and ready to check that out. I'll see you next Tuesday. For additional content that also goes into more opinionated pieces surrounding the politics around crypto, make sure you check out sonofatech.locals.com. There you can become a member for free or even choose to support for basically additional content at $5 a month. It's helping me stay alive through the crypto winter.